us up, y'all. It's your girl, Shay Says. To us is not one. And we are back on Party 101.9, home of the throwbacks and the iHeartRadio platform. And like I told you, we have some heavy hitters in the building this Sunday. And we have Mr. K. Connell. Am I saying that right? Yeah, you saying that right. I'm saying it right? Yeah, you are. You know, so, you know, big time reggae artist. Uh. Right, right? Am I missing anything? <laughs> well, I'm listening. Keep going. You're, you're flattering me. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, fitness guru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right? Okay, so how are you doing this Sunday? I'm doing great. You know what okay. I mean? It's, it's not that cold today in New York. So thank it's God not. For that. You yes. Know what I'm saying? Yes, um, I know. Yeah, but everything's good. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for having me. You know what I'm yes, saying? Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. You know, I saw yesterday you was with Blocka. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Blocka. Blocka, big up on your earth song. I don't know. Yeah, last yeah. time we was in um, the Ainsworth. Touch the yeah yeah nice. it was, the party was it was lit. Um, Did you perform or anything? Yeah yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, what'd you yeah, perform? Was, uh, you don't know. Finish oh. and style we use never I. Oh. You know what I mean? So it was it was dope. It was um, a lot of blanks got 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 shut off for of the club. Oh my night. gosh. Yeah, it was vibe was nice. It was good. Man, that's dope. That's yeah. really dope. I love Blanca too. So when I saw that, I was like, oh shoot! I was like, what's the invite? What happened? He didn't tell you. No, he didn't nah, tell me. Blanca, you didn't it's... tell me. <sighs> Alright, you know it was his party, so I can't really get invited. No, I got you, got you. It's his party, so I'm gonna I'm put it on. He like, it's not the, well. the family barbecue. I can't invite everybody <laughs> yeah, to yeah, it, you yeah. know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Alright, alright. So, I want everyone to get to know you more. Yeah. Um, I was actually looking looking you up, you know, I had to do my little research, yeah, research. really quick. Okay. Well, you're fine. You know? Huh? Well, you're fine. So, I found out that you used to study um, finance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I wanted to know exactly why did you decide to go into that route first? It was instilled in me that, you know what I mean, just to always make sure that school, your grandmother tell me everybody, school will come first, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Before everything else, school is first. Before the soccer that I was playing, before the singing I was doing, before the girls I was messing with, school's first. Mm -hmm. So I, I understood that at an early age that, okay, I see these nice cars, I see these nice clothes, how am I going to get that? Yeah. Education. So that's mm -hmm. why I went that route. You know what I mean? Okay. I want to make sure that if anything else doesn't fail, you got that. You got that brain power. Yeah. Nah, so, yeah. yeah. And has it like helped you out throughout your career? Oh, definitely. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, dope. yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I got my bachelor's um, in finance. So now, nobody, no management, no mm. nobody can trick me with no money. You no, know? right, I right, right. I manage my own money, so I know, I know the the pennies should come right down to the to the bottom line so you know what i'm saying so it, did, it definitely did that's so yeah. smart yeah i definitely respect anybody that has to get the education and understand the business that they work in yeah because you, you know what it is a lot of these artists they don't understand business right right that's a fact a lot of them talented artists but they don't know nothing about business right and how to manage their money and make sure that nobody's cheating them and whatever whatever so mm -hmm. Mal -Pot -Lock already. No, I definitely agree. Yeah, yeah. okay so um you said you're from Jamaica, mm -hmm. right? Montego yeah. Bay. Montego Bay in the house. What um what town in Montego Bay? I'm from a little town called Granville. Granville. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it's it's um you know yeah some major town. Granville's one of them. Salem is one of them. Mm -hmm. um, South Spring, you know the six them, mm -hmm. uh, bigging up South Spring and Glendive and everything around. But Granville, yeah, it's um one of those little garrison towns. You know, I, I went to Montego Bay recently. Um, my mom's Jamaican, actually. Oh, okay. Where? Yeah, Where she from? Um, she's from Kingston. Okay. Yeah, she's. You're from... sure? Because everybody from Kingston. I, I know she's from Marvley. Okay, so she's. Am I from saying Kingston. it right yeah, though? Marvley, yeah, Marvley. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's from there. So, um, I went to Montego Bay though, mm -hmm. and usually I, I always get that the tourist section, like Montego Bay, Ocho Rios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, when I hear people are from there, I'm like, how can you guys be from the tourist section? Like, I'm always so confused. Like. <laughs> You know, like, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Because I it's, see resorts and stuff, so yeah, I don't get no, to no. see everything else. It's not just the tour. <laughs> Montego Bay is not just tourists. The, the, okay. You have the touristy stuff, but you have the, the inner city areas. Oh. You know what I mean? The Grand Villa, the ceiling. But those places I, I called before I mentioned where there's, you don't want to be caught in some of those places. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we got the be the beaches, so the resorts are on the beaches. You know what I mean? Ocho Rios, Montego Bay, Negro. Kingston, I'm not in like a, like a fancy beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so they gotta they gotta just stick with the downtown. But yeah, right, right. you can you can be. In, so where did you stay, my baby? Um, oh my God, I forgot the the hotel that it was because it was like in January. Yeah, you remember to go that far, but yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I forgot literally. Cause you had my, too much my fun. You had the hotel, too much rub. So. Too much rub. Too much rub. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much rub. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. So besides that, yeah. you actually grew up in the church. Yeah, grew up yes. in church. So you start off in gospel? Yeah. 
Yeah. And how was that experience for you? Um, you know, growing up in the church gives you um, foundation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It gives you morals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, a lot of the the bigger singers, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of the artists, you know, a lot of the Ushers and the Whitney Houstons and the Mariah Careys and all of them, they grew up in the church, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, and you learn, the church gives you, an, actually gives you an outlet to sing. Because mm -hmm. other than the church growing up, where you gonna sing at? You know what I'm saying? You sing in school, not really. You know, you sing, yeah, I used to sing in school, but you know, church, you go every week and you sing with the choir, you sing different things. So it kind of teaches you to sing. And then um, again, it gives you ground, the, the, the foundation you need growing up. So wow. certain things you're not gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't go to church all the time. I still go occasionally, but um, it gives you those, you know, I'm grandma, make sure so I go to church every week. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was definitely a great experience. Um, growing up in the church definitely yeah that's dope. so what made you want to transition to um like reggae and dance hall i mean i growing up i always had love for music you know mm -hmm. i mean i was listening to i listen to gospel i listen to dance hall, i listen to reggae i listen to music mm -hmm. i'm not a tv person i didn't watch tv i never grew up you know watch tom and jerry occasionally but mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying for the most part i was just all music Music Jake is love some Tom and Jerry. That's all my mom's talking about. Tom and Jerry was the what? Listen, what? that's all she talked about. Some and Tom Popeye? and Jerry. And, yes, oh, and Popeye. Man. Like, come on, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but outside of that, I was doing. I was. I was just um, doing music and, and playing soccer. So, mm -hmm. um, but I was always listening to music. So I was always a fan of r and I was a big lover of R&B and reggae music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, when you listen to gospel music. They have a certain voice. Yeah. You know, God, never would have made it. They have a big, strong voices. I don't have a big, strong voice. You know, I'm more of a, a cool, sexy type of voice. You know oh, I heard you. <laughs> so, okay. Y'all hear that, ladies? Mm. So, He's yeah. like, I got the turn off the lights kind of voice. Like, I got the know? turn off the lights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so, so the gospel just wouldn't be a fit for my type of sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, it was more of an R&B. R&B, I fell in love with R&B music and listening to, 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 to Babyface and Brian McKnight and, mm. you know what I mean, and, and the other artists that I can't say his name no more. Um, but that's what I fell in love with. Mm. And it was good because it teached me how to, to talk to the ladies. And I, I was a ladies man from the time then. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. You had all the, the lines. <laughs> I didn't need the lines. I just sang. Oh. I just sang. I just sang. You see, I realize once you're singing, I need the lines. Okay. The youth, them what don't sing, them need lines. <laughs> they fly across the ocean and swim across the sea and climb the highest mountain and no bother that. We don't need none of that. We just, I can't. We just, we just, oh my God. We just sing. We just sing. Listen, I gotta, you know, y'all gotta get we some need a, voices. We need to book our vocal lessons. Yeah, I'm like, I'm I'm tell you, my life lessons real quick. Once you sing it, it just, it, it's half the battle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I heard allegedly that you are the perfect mixture of Usher and Sean Paul. Allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> right, right? Yeah. So do you agree with this concept or, or not? No, I agree. I agree. Um, I don't know if I'm a perfect mix with Usher and Sean Paul, but I get the the um, the comparison because, mm -hmm. you know, I can DJ, I sing J, and I can mm -hmm. sing R&B like Usher. You know, I mean, my R&B stuff sounds real R&B, like you mm -hmm. don't know that I'm Jamaican. And then I do my dance all Sean Pauly stuff, and it sounds yeah. like this kid can't do R&B. So it's like I got the mixture of both. I'm like, you know, we'll see when time will tell. But I feel like I could be the best of both worlds. So okay. We'll see. Yeah. Speaking into existence. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh you know what I mean? Definitely. Can definitely. you dance too? Like you know? No, we'll work on that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? You gotta we, have the the. We work in black or white. Black, black or long. Take the things out. You know, yeah, David. <laughs> um, now, nah, but the dancing is, you know, what I mean, it's something that I'm working on. I'm the 2020. Got you. I'll be doing a lot more. I, I always incorporate dancers in my performances. Yeah, and I see all of the challenges that you have too yeah. with so much dancing. Oh, they're dancing all over the oh world. Oh my it's crazy. gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up to all of the dancers in Japan and, yeah. and Israel and China and Panama and Brazil and That's Australia. Dope. Like it's 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 so dope, you know. What I mean? And Jamaica, dope. obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a blessing to see. The nice song, up. song, do what it, what it's doing and moving yeah. around and people dancing, you know what I mean. So it, it's definitely, it's been a great year. But 2020 dancing, dancing on the, on the, on the, 
on the, the list. Schedule, yeah. Got you. All right. You know, we uh, so 2020, we added dancing too. You gotta, we all went to the same dance. <laughs> we're do, right, why not? We're gonna make it happen. Like, I'm with it. I'm with it. It's a part of the fitness. Now let's do it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Yeah, it's definitely part of the fitness. You're yeah. sweating like crazy when you're doing them dances. Ah. Literally, yeah. <sighs> It's crazy, but yeah, definitely, definitely, we're working on that. So, speaking of fitness, let's talk about this this single, Fitness and um, Style. Yeah, Fitness and Style. Right? Yeah. So, um, what, like, why did you decide to say, combine this, Fitness and Style? I mean, you know, the thing is, um, Jamaicans say Style and Finesse, like, it's a saying, you know, Style oh, and okay. Finesse, yeah. So, I wanted to just flip it, just be different, Finesse and Style. Mm -hmm. And, um, I'm a big Supercat fan. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm gonna know Super Cat, but Super mm -mm. Cat. Let us know what this is. Super Cat is an old school Jamaican. Like, he's probably one of the, not the first, but he's one of like, you know, when you talk about dancehall artists that crossed over, you got, mm -hmm. you got, you know, Shaggy, you mm -hmm. know, Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. But before those guys, you had Shabarankin, mm -hmm. Super Cat. Oh, Super Cat! Yeah, Super Cat. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Cat, yeah. So, Super Cat is, he was the, the original Dandada. Yeah. So I, you know, people said we kind of look like Supercat. So actually, we was in the studio talking like, yo, you kind of look like Supercat. I'm like, you know what? You know, so maybe, you know, maybe you, maybe new with Dandada. So maybe young Dandada. So it's like, we just ran with the whole Dandada thing. I was gonna ask you, why do you um, call yourself that? Yeah, the young Dandada, cause you know, Supercat was a Dandada. So maybe the new Dandada. Mm. I mean, it's a young youth. So maybe young Dandada. And um, I just, I was, I'm a fan of Supercat. So it was just like a tribute to Supercat in, in, in type of way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And it, the, if you see the video, when you see the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Cause yeah. we carry those little elements in the video. That's really dope. Yeah. We that song is fire. Like, make sure you guys check it out. It's on um, streaming on all platforms. Yeah, it's on all platforms. It was actually number one on iTunes reggae charts for like two weeks. That's amazing. Um, and then it was on Billboard number twelve on Billboard. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and that's just the beginning. Yeah, I saw right next to Shensia. Yeah, I was oh, actually. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, was actually like above her. I was. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was really dope. I was on top of Shensia. Mhm. Mm that was yeah. dope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Listen, this is a cool cat. You see, like, you yeah, see how you said it, like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, definitely. Shout out to my fans who's been streaming and buying the music. You know, what I mean, the songs. Ever since the song came, the song debuted number five when it just came out the first day before even nobody heard it. Wow. So that people pre so, pre bought it and stuff like that. So you know, what I mean, I'm very, very humbled and and, and um, yeah, song is going good. Good. Yeah. So what else do you have in store for us? You know, like you said, 2020 is coming up. Yeah. Obviously, you got dancing on the bucket list. Yeah, What's going yeah. on with the music? Um, well, the first thing, the, the, the video, the Finesse and Style video is coming early next month. For okay. sure. Um, we just f finalizing some stuff with that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to drop a new single. Okay. I'm going to drop a new single. And I think I'm going to drop... Before 2020 or yeah. after? No, before. It's a year with us. I cruise up the year right now. Oh, you know nice. So we're just going to finish out the year with Finesse and Style. Mm -hmm. Drop a new single in early next year. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do something for the ladies on Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, something special. You know what I'm saying, ladies? Spicy. Yeah, ladies. So stay tuned for that. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna drop my EP. Nice. So okay. I've got a lot of new music coming for 2020. Yeah. Um, more videos coming. Um, dancing on my shows, obviously. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the dancing right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black up, big up yourself. You know what I mean? Bling, big up yourself. If you don't know, bigger. Big up yourself. These are my dancers. They, they dance with me every week. You know what I mean? So, nice. okay. um, they've been they've been on my case. So we are gonna get it right. Right, we right. Get it right. <laughs> um, so I wanted to know, um, do you want to collab with anybody in twenty twenty? Oh, definitely. Um, who are you looking into? Like, who would you like? Um, there's a couple people I want to collab with. Um, on different levels. Like, I mean, this year I definitely. I want to collab with Cranium. Cranium is my boy, you know what I'm Yo, saying? Yo, Cranium just dropped the, um... He dropped the album. Yeah, a whole yeah, album, um, yeah. Midnight, Midnight Strikes. Mm -hmm. Midnight Sparks. It's dope. Shout out to Cranium. Damn. So, you That would be a great collab. Yeah, me and Cranium definitely going to do something in 2020. Mm -hmm. Um, Stylo G is another one that I definitely want to nice. do something Nice, okay. Um, I want to do things with people that I really, like, I'm really cool with and we got a good energy with. I'm not just throwing it out there like, y'all want to do this, this artist, blah, blah, blah. No, yeah, that's how you, you make your saying? music, though, you, you know, know like, I mean? good energy. Um, yeah, Dexter Dups is another artist that I really, really, like, Dexter we, we kind of used to vibe a lot back mm -hmm. in the day, play soccer or whatever, but since he moved to Jamaica and I'm here, we kind of separated, so now I want to get back together, I want to do a song with Dexter. Um, Definitely would I wouldn't mind doing a song with Shensia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then when you come to the R&B this side of the world, I mean, 
There's a couple rappers I wouldn't mind working with. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A Boogie, I wouldn't mind working with A Boogie. I he's love A Boogie. He's a Bronx. He's a Bronx cat too. So you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Are you um, from the Bronx? Yeah, I live oh, in the Bronx. Oh, okay, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. So, so definitely. So you know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna do some collabs Got this year, you. next okay. year. Yeah. For sure. I, yeah, I'm super excited to see this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you named you. some some dope people that I'm a fan of. So yeah. I can't wait to see you guys collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, really definitely. Like you know what I mean? I've, the, the last couple of years, I, I mean, I had a collab with Stoneboy, mm -hmm. a song called Balance, which did really well. I had a song with Krisha Turner, mm -hmm. um, which did really well as well in Canada. Um, so, but the last two years, I was like, you know, let me just focus on me and not worry about collabs or whatever. But of course. Um, 2020, yeah, we're going we gonna to get the collabs. And you're still making good music too, solo. Thank so, you, thank you. So, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, the collab them is just, you know, music is just different styles come together just make right. everything you know what i mean and then it just for the business it's a lot of it's a lot of great things that come out of collabing with an artist mm -hmm. you know what i mean we can all we can all go on the road together and just vibe and the chemistry and just do shows and it's just it's all about having a good time mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's what it's about okay i don't know if you ever heard of this thing but i went on a cruise called uber soca cruise yeah, Young Chow was on it the other day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my Young Chow. I was like, you know, I, I saw Young Chow on the um, yeah, shout out to my yeah, too. Nice yeah. Um, we gotta have him on the show. That's what I was just talking about too. Oh, word. Um, but I would definitely say you should definitely try to perform on that. You know, get yeah. yourself on there because it was really dope. It was an yeah. amazing experience. The and girls love Soka. Listen, <laughs> listen. It the was great. <laughs> <laughs> the girls definitely like soca. They like soca for sure. They, that's a fact. Nah, and Finesse and Style will definitely be a great like song to hear on the boat. I oh think. yeah, it should. So it should. yeah, I just want to like just recommend that to you. Oh, so thank you. Alright, right. you know? yo, Cho, next year, make, make listen, 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 take me with y'all. All right, you know, make this happen. This happened on Shay Says. How was it though? Where did where'd y'all go? So it was um for a week, and we went to Turks and Caicos this year. Okay. Apparently last year they went to like Haiti, and I think the year before that they go to different places. Mm -hmm. Um, this year for what I saw so far with 2020. It seems like they're going in two locations. Mm -hmm. They just didn't like say it as of yet. Right. But it is two boats each um each year. And like this year they had like lyrical on it. They yeah. had um um Little Nazi and Tunda. Okay. They had um Mr. Killer was on it. Like they had a good like and yeah, even yeah. like Kesta Band was on during Turks and Caicos. Right, right, right. It was like so they they had a great selection and everything. Right, and right. then they had like a couple of new performances as well. Yeah. And it was it was just a every day, like you know Caribbeans don't sleep. Yeah. So nah, nah. Every day was just something going yeah. on, like turn about the turn up party at the party. Like right. it was, it was an amazing experience, That's and it was great up. to just like bond with people from different countries. I learned a lot about the Virgin Islands, mm. so much about Dominica. Yeah. Um, um, I think I said it right, Dominica, Domin Dominica, 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 yeah, Dominica, yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned a lot, so it was, it was great. It was yeah, really great. That's what's up. That's so what's I think that'll be great. Like, yeah, next year, year, next year is definitely, as I said, it's gonna be an amazing year. I, mm -hmm. I, I feel it. I know 2019 was a was a was a dope dope year, and I know 2020 is gonna be way better. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I'm, a, I'm definitely outside. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be everywhere. And if you ever need somebody, Shay says to host anything for you. You can hit me I, up, you I, know? Definitely, definitely. You're gonna make um, that happen. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much, K Canil. Um, let everybody know where to follow you, of yeah. course. Appreciate it. Um, my name is K Canil, if y'all didn't get it. We said it a mad times, but follow me <laughs> online, the K Canil, T H E K C O N E I L. That's T H E K C O N E I L. I G, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, Reverb Nation, where Spotify, wherever, like Google me, Cake and Neil, yeah. yeah. Got you. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. I really appreciate this interview. Thanks for having me. And when you drop some new stuff, let's come back. Yeah, man, definitely. As we said, next month, we're yes. going to come back with the new song, you yeah. know what I mean, and let y'all know. Song's done, the song's fire. It's another party song. It's, okay. it's another banger, so, you know what I mean? All right, and we're going we to, listen, guys, y'all listening to this, we're going to let y'all know how these dance classes go, because yeah. I think I, I want to join these dance challenges <laughs> that everybody's doing around the world, you yeah, know? Yeah, so, yeah, finesse, finesse and style. Yeah, you got to like, make this happen, you know? <laughs> you should post yours. Get on there and do one. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one. I do got one. you. Let's do it for the heck you. of it. Nah, yeah, you're right. I'm <laughs> yeah, gonna, I said. We'll see how this goes, because my, my team told me not to dance today when I was dancing this earlier. Don't, so don't vibe, be hating so. on the dance, man. Just let yeah. it. You had to see it. Nah, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't 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 listen, <laughs> dancing don't is, talk about something you haven't dancing seen. Dancing is an expression, okay? So however you Thank express you. yourself, just express yourself. Thank she, you. she was expressing a lot. Thank you. <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> let, her, let, her, let, her, let her do it. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, knock, let, don't knock the growth. Right, I, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but you do our thing, man. Right. Yeah. Thank you. You know? Yeah.
Yeah. Come on, sweetie, I'm gonna start dancing more now. You gave me the courage. Do it. You gave me the do courage. It, do it, do it. But thank you so much. God, thank you so much again. Thank you. Um, this was Shay says two us is now one here on Party One One Point Nine, home of the Throwback and the iHeartRadio platform. And guys, we have some more people coming in. D DJ Sinatra is coming in afterwards at the eight o'clock. So stay tuned, guys. This is Cranium. No other.